We've got Neil on the phone. Hi, Neil. Hello, how you doing? Not too bad. I don't know if you're listening online there. We've got a live link up with Knockhill Racing Circuit and the stock cars. Uh-huh. I got carried away. I thought we'd have won, but then <laughs> it came in second, you know. I was hoping I was keeping my fingers crossed, you know. But we're talking about racing there. That's the car racing, the stock cars are crossing Knock Hill. But you, Neil, are involved in different type of racing, aren't you? I'm involved in cycle speedway just now, and I've previously done BMX racing back in the 80s and the 90s. Going back as far as that? Going back as far as that, yes. 1984 I started racing. What made you take up cycle speedway, Neil? Cycle speedway, last year I was, BMX has changed from what it used to be. And I realised that at the end of last year down at the Brits in Cheddar with my son who decided that it just wasn't for him. So I was racing in a Matty Weathers Edinburgh Monarchs testimonial cycle speedway meeting at Red Braves and the team manager Stephen Gilroy and Callum Slight, who's the captain, they persuaded me to give it a try this season and basically never looked back. When you talked about BMX, uh -huh. what was that about? That came about just to basically go into the speedway back in the, the early 80s and I got the bug for BMX after my dad had a bike shop in Edinburgh called Scotia BMX. Right, so you went from BMX to what type of bike? I went from BMX and then I went straight onto the cycle speedway. Just any old bike? Any old bike. Well, cycle speedway is a lot different from BMX. For starters, cycle speedway has no brakes and it's four laps on an oval track against another three riders, one partner and two of your opponents in BMX is totally different. It's A at the gate and you're racing for yourself and you're not on a team. Right, okay. So there was cycle speedway at the weekend, wasn't there? There was, then at Red Braves where the A team had a good result against Burry and I think that's confirmed that we're now second in the league, which is our highest level position and the B team beat Burry by one point, which is their first defeat of the season as well, so it was great to get a win. It's great for a win for Edinburgh as well. Yep. So, describe the track and the bike itself. The track itself is at Red Braes, just where the old speedway track used to be at Powder Hall. And uh, it's eight in a team, and you race up and down the country, basically, against teams from Bury, Manchester, Sheffield, Glasgow have just restarted back up, Newcastle have restarted back up. So there's a lot of travelling involved as well, but it's good because it's a team sport. And how often do you race? We race every Sunday at Red Braves. Well, every, every, every home meeting is raced at Red Braves, and then obviously you've got your away meetings as well, but it's normally posted on Facebook, etc. Neil, is there any lady riders? There has been a couple, yes. There has been a couple of lady riders. We raced out in Sheffield, I think, maybe two, three months ago, and there was a 13-year-old girl who raced to admittedly knocked me off my bike. I don't think that would be the, la the first and the last time, Neil. No, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a non-contact sport as well. Well, it is a contact sport, so it's a contact sport, so there's basically no rules to it, to it at all. I like that, no rules. You know, I've been uh, the, onto the website and looking at the um, the website, your website, um, for the Cycle Speedway, and there's some cracking photographs throughout all the years where the tracks used to be. Uh, there used to be, I think there was one in Pilton years ago as well, and there was obviously one at the Jack Kane Centre, but now it's just the one at Red Braves, but I think they're in talks with the Edinburgh Council, they hopefully get another track in the area, the Edinburgh area. Do you know the youngest rider that you've got in the, the team? I think it could be a short use, and maybe eight years of age, and the oldest rider would be Johnny Murphy, he's 70 years of age. I met Johnny the last time I was down there at uh, Red Braves. Johnny the Legend Murphy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you got any mentions for anyone? Just happy birthday to my son who's 12 today. What's his name? It's Kieran Swanson. Happy birthday, Kieran. Hope you're listening. And how is he going to celebrate his birthday? He's been down just now. He's downstairs just now. So he's just ready to go back up to his mum's. He's just back from his holiday today. So he's a bit tired. Is he going to follow in your footsteps? He has now got the bug for the cycle speedway. Uh, the team captain, Calum Slight, has constantly been on it on today's cycle speedway, so he's got the bug for it. I think he enjoys it it's because it's a team sport. It's not an individual sport like what BMX is. Neil, I talked to Duncan and uh, Gary Stagg from Knock Hill. They've got uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise now at Knock Hill. They've brought back anti-clockwise racing. What about the cycle speedway? Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise, it's just it's, it's the same as the speedway itself. It's the exact same as the speedway itself. The only 
probably better than Trevor's not got an engine. And it's probably more dangerous than the speed bell, would say. Well, I mean, it's four laps. Four laps, anti-clockwise. Yeah, it doesn't take long to, to finish one of these uh, races off. The track record was just equal on Saturday down at Red Braves. I think it's 41 seconds for four laps. 41, 42 seconds. That's quick. That is right. <laughs> Uh, but then all ages and uh, all sizes, I'm talking with tall people and short short people as well, take part in the, the cycle speedway. All ages, it's free and it's enjoyable. That's the main thing. I like how you say it's free. That's one thing that should attract a lot of people. Well, anyway, that's what I try it. This Sunday, it's a club under 13 championships at Red Braves and it's starting at 1 o'clock if anybody wants to come down and watch while the sort of veterans will be sort of practicing as well. Do they need a lot of practice? I would say if you come along and enjoy it, you'll probably get the bug for it. Well, I hope a lot of people do. But then cycle speedway is not your only sport, is it? I was basically DMX. I've done that for many a year up and down the country with my father and my mother as well. And then I stopped that, I think, around about 1989 to go into different sports, i.e. football, basketball. And then went back to BMX in 2010, but it's not the sport that it used to be, it's totally changed, it's now raced on tarmac. And back in the 80s it was just raced on a different sport. You say basketball and football? Basketball and football, I played basketball as well, for uh, in Tartan Club, for the Fountain Bridge. Yeah. Used to play for the, and played for Edinburgh City basketball team in Dalkey Saints. Well, the Dalky Saints. Yeah. I remember watching the, the basketball up at Last Week High School. Of course, it's the old one now. That's where they used to play, yes. Um, and uh, what was it, the local team? That would be Dalky Saints who played there. They played there and they played at New Battle High School. That's right, but I'm trying to think of the other team as well. It was Dalky Saints and, um, oh, it just slipped my mind. Yeah, um, that was it. really, really enjoyed it. You could pull out the chairs from the side of the hall and, you know, um, it, it gave you a grandstand. The basketball is a good sport, but it, it sort of died a death in Scotland. It has. I mean, I missed that. I went across, stay across the road, and uh, every time there was the, um, the team was playing there, then I thoroughly enjoyed going along. And uh, like football, believe it or not, you know, they can make a lot of noise by stamping their feet on that grandstand. Yep. And there was one chap came along with one of these big drums yep. to try and put our team off. Yeah? <laughs> That's the one. Didn't work. We made more noise stamping our feet in the metal chairs. <laughs> you just shut up. They couldn't stand it, you know. Oh God, I'm trying to remember the team as well. Ah. Oh. What do I can think of was Edinburgh City and Dalkey. They had a bit of history between each other. I'm talking about a lot of years, mind you. Quite a few years ago. Um, but then they, they just finished up. They no longer play, you know. Yeah, it's best to the line. There's only maybe eight or nine teams national league now, which yeah. isn't the best. I can remember the captain was Ian. Ian, he went to the Edinburgh team. Ian McLean. Ian McLean, yeah. Uh, great, I think he was called the Bull. That's right. Uh, you know, I went across here one night and it was a competition, right, to try and win a holiday, and uh, it was to try and get the ball into the basket from the centre line. I tried it. Everyone thought it went in, including me, but it was an optical illusion. It actually went behind the basket, but all the crowd shouted, and I thought it was in. It's it a wasn't. very, very hard sport. It's a very hard sport. Ian McLean, what I didn't realise was I had to pick one of the, the, the team members to try and get the ball in the basket as well. It was Ian McLean, and they got in, and I got a holiday through it. He was probably one of Scotland's greatest ever basketball players, Ian McLean. Yeah, it was great. Um, he was good. That's right. So... Moving on to another sport, you mentioned basketball, football, what about the Edinburgh Monarchs? Edinburgh Monarchs have followed them since 1978 I would say at Powder Hall and now at Armadale since they've been there since 1977 where in 2010 I started to spawn sponsor the rider off the match where you present the rider with a bottle of bubbly after each home meeting. Why did you move on to Cycle Speedway? Sorry. Um, Edinburgh Monarchs from Psycho Speedway. What was it, sorry? Why did you move from the, the Psycho Speedway and then move into, you know, dealing with the uh, uh, Edinburgh Monarchs? We used to sponsor a rider at the, at the Speedway called Kevin Walbert, a German, and after a couple of years of sponsoring him, the person that used to, own, used to run the Bottle of Bubbly for the Monarch of the Match, he pulled out, so 
we sort of volunteer, there's a group of us that do, we volunteer to do it. Basically, it shows the sun can get to meet the riders in the centre green, get his picture taken, and you get a good view for the centre green as well. How are, how are the monarchs playing? They're playing well this year, they're in the Kale Cup semi-final, which is probably like the League Cup in football. They're in the Premier Trophy semi-final as well, which is... It's a warm up for the start of the season, and they're lying, I think, second in the league just now. But it's not who finishes top of the league. The top six qualify for the playoffs, and then they race against each other, and whoever wins in the playoffs. It's a bit like the football in Division 1 in England. Whoever wins, they win the league. What about the weather? Has the weather been having an effect on the fixtures? The weather had an effect on it last year. They had a really low point, the speed they but they've got a good support from the fans this season and the crowd level has went up. Well, that's great to hear. Um, of course, uh, it's always been in the news, uh, the Edinburgh Monarchs across here, and uh, it's fantastic to, to know that the sport is continuing and it's flourishing as it's well. It's another good family sport, and there is a big link, obviously, between Edinburgh Monarchs and the Edinburgh Falcons cycle speedway team. You get to see a lot of the riders coming down to Edinburgh Falcons to train and to come and watch as well. So if any kids that are interested in the speedway and come along to the speedway, they can go along to Red Braves where we race the cycle speedway and they can get to meet their heroes. I've heard some people from a cycle speedway going and becoming riders for the Monarchs. There probably has been in the past, yes, there probably has been. Yeah, a great sport. Aye, so good family sports. So what are you up to next, sport-wise, Neil? Sport-wise, well, I think there was only going to do the cycle speedway for another year. That was when I went back to it last year but I'm enjoying it that much that I probably will continue to race this next season because they are a great bunch of guys What about some of their names again? Uh, the team managers Callum uh, Stevie Goroy sorry were team captains of Dougie Morgan and Callum Slight for the B team and Mikey Hewison for the A team uh, we've got Johnny Murphy who I've previously mentioned Archie Hewison uh, Douglas Morgan, who I've mentioned, and Chris Lee, basically all right Edinburgh area. Gavin Kennedy as well. It was Jim Borge I was thinking about when I spoke to you the other night. The old chap. One, I've not heard the other one is Jake Slight, that's Calum Slight's brother. So yeah. there's two brothers that are involved in it as well. Great stuff. Neil, we'll have to go and come up to international news. That's great. And I hope you'll give us more reports live on Black Diamond FM. That's great, anytime. Thanks so Thank much. You. Cheers. Right, bye. bye.